it is a very late start to the day it's 3 p.m i didn't do anything this morning slash afternoon but i'm heading to the beach now i'm making it a beach day and this is the first time this whole trip that i'm actually wearing my swimsuit when i went to the beach in barcelona i didn't bring my swimsuit i just sat on the beach but I plan to get in the water today, and I'm very excited, excited to experience the Adriatic Sea and swim and just get some fresh ocean air. The beach is about a 10 minute walk from my hostel, and I'm hoping it's not busy, but it might be because it's late afternoon. sunburn but it was great to just sit and relax and tan and get in the water it was really busy it is a tourist beach but it's all right and now i'm heading to get food because i haven't had a meal today i'm hungry i was sent some very cheap food recommendations and one is super close to where the beach is it's a kebab place and after the kebabs I had in Germany, I am ready to have some more. My stomach is already growling just thinking about it. I got my kebab and fries. I'm rushing back to my hostel because it's open top. So I can eat it. I got this with a Coke Zero and it came out to 60 kronas, which is roughly eight US dollars for a whole meal. I love that Croatia is so cheap and affordable. I also like to note that those guys like packed this thing full that it couldn't close and they gave me a discount. So we'll see $50 for the buff thing and 15 for the drink. Obviously, that would make $65 total, or $65 kunas total, but it's only $60. I tipped them five. I tipped them five kunas for giving me the discount. I'm so excited to eat this. I am back at my hostel. I'm going to chow down on some food before taking a shower. I have sand everywhere. And then I'm going to call it a day, work on my computer. And just chill. I think today was a very short vlog because I just went to the beach and laid around all day. And it's kind of awkward to take videos and stuff at the beach because I don't want people to think I'm filming them. I tried to capture it, but I literally just panned and sat and listened to music, read a book on my phone. A pretty chillaxed day in split, I would say. But tomorrow, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do tomorrow because I don't know. What else is there to see and split? But on the day after tomorrow, I have a tour that's going to take me to some of the islands and split. So I'm excited for that. 